So near Automata is a mess on PC. Welcome to Risky Business. I want to talk about this because I can't believe they actually shipped this game like this. It's a disaster. It's like it's virtually unplayable. And this is not the first time Square Enix has released a PC port of one of their games that is just a complete and total shit show. Like Final Fantasy 13 needs a, a fix to run properly. Final Fantasy 15 has that micro stuttering that you can't fix. It's completely ridiculous. Um, there's such a number of things wrong with this game. So we're going to go over some essential improvements and how to make this game at least pretty good, right? All right, so a little bit different content for me this time around. I'll be having a lot more, of course, of those emulation tutorials in the future, but I'm also going to be adding some of these PC gaming tutorials and these modding tutorials as well. And the reason for that is because in addition to an emulation fan, I am also a PC gamer. And today's topic, as I discussed in the intro there, is Nier Automata, which is a wonderful game, but the PC port is just awful. So we're going to install some essential improvements that are going to fix that experience. Now, what I do with any PC game, especially if I'm having issues with it, is I go first to PC Gaming Wiki. That is the very first thing that I do. Now, PC Gaming Wiki is going to give us a lot of great information about what we can do to make Nier Automata look and play much better for us. So, here we go. We're going to scroll down a little bit here to Essential Improvements. You can see right here the topic. And there are some more fixes here apart from the essential improvements. I recommend you look through this entire page yourself and make sure that everything in the game is running to your uh, specifications. One issue that there's really nothing we can do about, unfortunately, is the stuttering. The stuttering is just baked into the engine. I noticed on the uh, forums a lot of people complaining about stuttering after they installed the mod. I think they're mistaken because the stuttering is there whether the mod is installed or not. I think they're just blaming it on the mod, but it's not the mod, trust me. It is baked into the game. It's going to stutter either way. So with that out of the way, the first thing you have to install is FAR. So let's go ahead and open that link. Now, obviously I've already done this on my computer, so it's not going to be exactly the same experience, but I'll walk you through as much of it as I can. So over here, we're going to go ahead and use this automated installer. And of course, we trust this and we know it's safe. So we're going to continue, and the reason we know it's safe is because I've used it myself and I can confirm and vouch for it. So here we go, skim64.exe, the special K install manager. There's a whole bunch of different stuff here, but we're only going to pick this one. And you can see there are a bunch of different games that they have uh, fixes for. There's even a very similar fix for Final Fantasy XV as well. So it's all here to fix these Square Enix games. All you do is uh, click on that far in the drop down and then click on the install link. It will automatically find your near automata installation and it's going to install this for you. And uh, they have a little donate button down there. So if you appreciate the work they do, you can throw them a few bucks. I think it's a nice thing to do, especially given the fact that this game was ported so poorly by Square Enix and these folks took their time to fix it for uh, really maybe Square Enix ought to be paying them, huh? So once you're done with that, you've got the real backbone of what you need. And for every other improvement you're going to want to make in this game, you're going to need that to already be installed. So now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and go back to our PC Gaming Wiki page. And that's pretty easy. You know, once it's installed, it actually fixes most of the issues automatically. It's going to fix the resolution automatically. It's going to fix the bloom scaling automatically. A whole bunch of other features that are totally broken are going to be fixed. Next, we need our texture pack, and the texture pack is. Let me do a, do this as a new a new tab here. The texture pack is going to replace a lot of the kind of low res yucky textures in the game, and it tells you where to go to. You have to browse to the game's local directory. So I'll show you real quick from Steam how to do that in case you don't know. Right click on the game in your library, hover over Manage, and then choose Browse Local Files. And that's going to bring you right in to the near automata directory and now it has this folder here that wasn't there before called far underscore res and when you open that up you get a series of folders now these folders probably aren't there yet this is probably empty at this point so you're going to need to download those textures 
So over here back on our Steam community page, where it has the post all about the texture pack, we're gonna go to where it says download. Click right here where it says download. And then it says texture pack on Nexus mods. So we're gonna open that up. We're gonna continue. I can vouch for that that this is a safe download for you. And you're gonna manually download the, uh, the update. Now this is interesting too. This is actually something that I don't I don't know if this was here before. This uh, texture pack 2K version, and that's kind of that's kind of an optional file, but it's half the size. So you know it doesn't specify here what the difference is. I run everything in 2K resolution, but this is not properly tested. So you know what? We'll just go with this main texture pack here, and uh, let's not mess around with the thing that doesn't appear to be uh, done correctly, right? So we'll choose a manual download here, and now I went ahead and got the little premium membership to Nexus Mods just to make this download go faster, because otherwise it takes forever. You know, they throttle your downloads unless you donate, which I know that probably sounds kind of scummy, but you know what? Nexus Mods really is an amazing site. They do a lot of great work. So throwing them a few bucks to get your downloads faster, I think it's, it's a reasonable thing to do. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and let that download. We already have our game folder open. We already know where our textures are. And I'll show you, I'll go back to the root here. Oh, I already downloaded it before. So here's my download. I wanna show you real quick though what it looks like. At first, it's gonna come as a zip. So you're gonna to wanna to unzip that. However you do that, extract all by default if you don't have 7-zip installed or you can use 7-zip like I like to. And once you've done that, you'll have this nice, beautiful folder here. Nier Automata Texture Pack version 75 with all this nice alphanumeric craziness here. And then what's in that folder? Why there is a far underscore res folder there, just like the one that we have in our game location. So we're gonna pop over to our game location. And we're just gonna overwrite what's in there. Now I'm actually gonna cancel that because I don't wanna overwrite the files. I wanna copy them. And that's a good rule of thumb. Whenever you're installing a texture pack like this, always delete the old texture pack first before you do that. And if you look into these folders, there's a lot of stuff here. And FAR is supposed to handle that. So that's actually, I'm kind of surprised at how fast that was because it's a pretty large file. But if I look back, the texture pack folder is empty. I'm just gonna check and make sure. I'm gonna go to my zip and just make sure that I got everything. That might take a second. I'm not picking my nose, I'm just, I got a scratch. An itch. <laughs> so let's see. How fast this goes is going to depend on your PC, <laughs> your uh, your hard drive and your CPU mainly. Alright. Actually, probably just the hard drive to be honest. Just make sure that you got everything. Because it looked like that happened really fast. And this is a pretty large folder, so I just wanted to make sure that everything came through. It looks like it did. 2B is only 4 files, A2 is only 2 files. If you open these up, they don't really look like anything. So then I can open this up in the... I can open up in GAMP, but... Just to see what it looks like. It's just gonna be it's gonna be a texture, so it's not gonna look like anything. Yeah, it just looks like junk. But those are some of the textures. It looks like a nightmare actually. But those are what the textures basically look like. And FAR is supposed to just automatically inject these textures when you play. So we'll see. We'll run it and see what happens. So we got those main things out of the way. We got FAR installed, which is the backbone, and then we have the texture pack, and then improved cutscenes. The cutscenes are so bad. They stutter, the they, they frame rate drops, the resolution is low, it's so bad. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and, and fix that. And this is actually super, super easy, but here's what's really crazy about it. So after you download the video files, extract them and overwrite the content, this article on, on the Steam community gives you a default location. Um, obviously that's not where, it's unlikely to be where you have the game installed. So just make sure you do the same thing we did before. 
we're going to browse to our local files. Manage, browse local files. And then according to this, all the video files are going to be found in Near Automata Data Movie. Pretty simple. So let's go ahead and download. There's a link right here. We're going to continue to external site. Through it's kind of long here. About this mod, blah, blah, blah. Go to files. And there's two parts to this, so we're going to download these. These haven't been uploaded, these haven't been updated in a while, so I really don't need to do this on my system. And these take a long time anyway. So yeah, I really don't need to do this on my system, but just to show you for educational purposes, this is how you do it. And then once you've got these downloaded, you'll extract them, and then copy them right here into this movie folder. And I think you can probably handle that without me showing you the entire process, right? And of course, in the case of the movies, you can overwrite what's there. So that's really all there is to it. That's the whole deal. Let me make sure, do I have my desktop audio muted? Yes, I do. You see, you have the FAR prompt, and I think it said, what, Control, Control Shift Backspace, was it, to open up FAR? Yeah. And you can look at the FAR control panel, and you can see there's a lot of different stuff you can do here. I'm not going to go through everything, but there are some manual fixes for the bloom, for the ambient occlusion, and some of the different things that cause issues in this particular game. So it's just something for you to look out for. I wouldn't get too deep into this because most of what you need to do is done automatically. The only things that you might want to do is make sure that the resolution matches your desktop resolution. Make sure that the bloom is set to native bloom resolution so that it matches your resolution rather than the game's resolution. Native ambient occlusion resolution. Uh, you can reduce the lighting a little bit the lighting will help you out. You can remove the 60 FPS cap, which we'll do now. So this use busy wait for capped FPS can cause video stuttering. So it's just something to look out for. You know, and you can play with those settings as you need to make it make sense for you, right? There we go. And look how great that game looks. I mean, that looks a lot better. I mean, this looks incredible compared to what it looks like out of, out of the box. But you'll notice there's that stuttering I was talking about. There's really not much we can do about it. The stuttering is going to happen. So you just kind of have to live with it. I mean, you can try and adjust some of the settings to make the stuttering less. But it doesn't really, there's not a lot, you know. Do the best you can. That's all I can say. You can play with the FAR settings a little bit to try and get it better. Removing the FPS cap might be a problem because if it's trying to go over 60 FPS right now on my monitor, it's probably not going to do a great job. So I hope this little tutorial has helped you out. If you play Nier Automata on PC, or have played Nier Automata on PC, or want to play Nier Automata on PC, and have found that the game is virtually unplayable due to the horrible, horrible, horrible port, there you go. <laughs> anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, please do me the favor of liking the video, subscribing, and leaving me a comment. Now, what I really want to do with this channel is I really want to get a budget going. And to do that, I need to monetize the channel. And to monetize the channel, I need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time within a 30-day period. The watch time is no problem. That's super easy. I can get that. But the subscriber seems to be a little bit of a problem. And I know that subscribing to a YouTube channel does absolutely nothing for you. It used to be you would get alerts. Now it's completely meaningless for you. Whether you subscribe to the channel or not, the content's still going to be here. So I'm just asking you as a favor to subscribe to the channel because uh, that's going to help me to monetize. And if I can monetize, I can get a budget. And if I can get a budget, I can buy a new Raspberry Pi and do a whole Raspberry Pi setup video from top to bottom, including assembling the hardware and all the steps of the configuration. And I configure my Raspberry Pis completely manually. I don't use somebody else's image. I use my own stuff. So that's number one. Uh, I also want to get a Wii and a PlayStation 3. I want to do retro art setups on those. And I also want to get uh, an original Xbox and do uh, an Xbox 
mod uh, with a, uh, a retro gaming setup on that. And I want to do all of that for the channel. Uh, and I think what I'll probably do, if I can get that going, if I can get those subscribers, get that monetization, and purchase that hardware, from that point, I would like to uh, do, do a giveaway for those things. So I'm not going to get them for myself to use. I'm going to get them so that I can do a video about them, and then the final product that I create in that video, I'll, I'll do a giveaway for it. But I need to have the audience there that I know it's worthwhile to do that, so I need to be able to monetize the channel, and I need to know that I have enough of an audience watching my videos that there will be somebody to give it to, right? So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching this video. It's been kind of long, so I'm going to cut it off now. Have a great day, night, evening, whatever it is, and enjoy your video games.